Hi, this is Gary Brinkman, Pioneer Agronomist in Central Michigan. Today I'd like to visit with you about diagnosing emergence issues using a square bottom spade. I'm frequently asked to come out to growers' fields to evaluate the outcome of their planning efforts. In doing so, there's a great opportunity to discover many things about the emergence process. For example, did I plant my seed deep enough? Did I plant too early into cold soils and experience cold injury symptoms? Let me share with you a process that's helped me over the years see the seed in the context of its growing environment and see things you never thought were possible. It all starts with my good old square bottom spade. To start, take your square bottom spade and place it about six inches away from the row. Now I've tried many different spades over the years and I have found the square bottom spade to be very effective in breaking open that seed trench. Position your hand on the opposite side of the row and use it to help the soil break at the seed trench. And with practice, the seed trench will open and give you insight into the planting conditions this seed was planted in. Now I can measure accurate planting depth, examine radical and seminal root growth, evaluate sidewall compaction, see insect feeding and discover conditions that may have led to root rots. It's really amazing what this will reveal. Here's an example of the process in action. All right, let's try and break this one open and see if we can't get another profile. Lay that open again. We can get a nice profile. Looks really good. Um, minimal sidewall compaction. This is a nice uh, silty sandy loam. Um, again, looking at uh, the beginning of seminal roots, we'll dig down and see what we can find as far as the uh, uh, radical root and see what condition that's in. So I've dug up this plant. What should I be looking for? So here I've got a couple plants that I've dug up and again I'm looking for uniform emergence and some of the things that drive uniform emergence. The most important thing you want to look at, you want to evaluate the radical. This is really what starts the race for both of these plants. And you can see they have both strong radicals. If an insect comes by or disease comes and, and clips this, uh, the plant starts to rely on these seminal roots and it will put this behind in that race for uniform emergence. Um, we've got nice seminal roots starting to develop. Both of these plants should really take off We've got some warm soil temperatures uh, predicted before us, and these have just popped out of the ground. These should take off and really grow rapidly with this good beginning that we see here. Here's a couple emergence issues I was able to unearth using my square bottom spade. In this example, I found what was left of the roots as a grub set up a dining hall next to the plant. Here I discovered the impact of wireworm damage. Here we have a plant that is delayed emergence. And if we look closely, we see two things. Number one, we see a wireworm. And we see that the root here has been severed. Uh, insect has uh, severed the radical. And as, as I said before, this is the reason that we see a lot of plants delayed in emergence. Something happens. Insects, disease, slows this radical down, kills it, severs it, and that puts tremendous pressure on the seminal roots, which are again starting to grow. And this plant then becomes a runt. And here I was able to show the grower that when seed sits in the ground for 35 days, it's susceptible to seedling diseases. So, Next time you want to see what is really happening underground with your emerging seed, don't leave home without your square bottom spade. This has been Gary Brinkman, Pioneer Field Agronomist.
Thanks for joining me on another great field adventure. I'm always looking for feedback. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And stick around if you want to see my blooper clip. The seed trench doesn't always break nice and clean as my pictures have shown here. It takes practice. All right, so the first thing you want to do, you want to place your shovel just alongside of the uh, row and then bury it in good six, ten inches, and then you just want to rock it back and forth. And the nice thing about the double disc opener is it usually is a, a nice line to break open that soil. And darn, <laughs> broke the wrong way, Larry. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.